Okay, and here it says, according to the Center for Disease Control, three-year-old boys have a mean height of 38 inches and a standard deviation of 2 inches. So the mean is equal to 38, and the standard deviation is equal to 2. And it says, what percentage of three-year-old boys have a height of 39 inches or more? All right, so in this case, we're expecting to be centered at 38, and we're going to draw a cutoff line at 39, and we want to know what percent is 39 inches or more. So in this case, we find our z-score. Our z-score is going to be 39 minus 38. Each standard deviation is 2. So we are half a standard deviation above the mean. And so when we look up uh, 0 0.50, we get 0.6915. So the area to the left of z equals 0 0.50 is equal to um, 0.6915. That's the area to the left. Okay, and we know uh, our answer is not going to be greater than 50%. Okay, we know that because from our picture we can see that this tail area, whatever it is, this is what we want to know. This is less than 50%. And that's going to be um, because the whole area under the curve adds up to 1, the area that's left over is going to be 1 minus 0.6915. And so that will be point. 3085. So what percentage of three-year-old boys are 39 inches or more? 30.85 percent are 39 inches or more. All right, and then part B says what percentage have a height of 38 inches or more? Okay, in this case, our mean is 38, so we're drawing a cutoff line right at the mean. So what percent is going to be 38 inches or more, okay? Uh, we know that the answer there is going to be exactly 50%, okay? Because half are going to be taller and half are going to be shorter. For the normal distribution, the mean is right in the middle. And so half are taller, half are shorter. If you aren't convinced, you can look up the z-score. The z-score is going to be 38 minus 38 divided by 2. You get a z-score of 0, 0.00. If you look up 0, 0.00 in the table, you'll see that the area to the left is 0.500, which means the area to the right is also 0.5000.